Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's brew is from Black Sheep Brewery and it's their famous Black Sheep Ale. 4.4% in the volume, it says it's crisp, dry and bittersweet. Okay, um, let's get this bottle open. smoke really really good lost the cap I just had to show you the cap it's quite it's quite unique it's quite nice it's got some it's got the black sheep name and the logo on there um, okay I got a nice tall glass today to pour, pour this out Smells like orange fruit, the aroma, and it's slightly hoppy. Nice. Oh, lovely. This is, oh, look at this. Really, really good head. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Yes, you've got the orange peel, and it's a, ooh, just about a two finger head going on there. Um, bit of carbonation going, quite a bit of carbonation, which is always a sign of a good beer. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, masses of hops. Pardon me, <sighs> masses of hops going on. Nice orange fruit taste, and to finish off, we've got a nice roasted coffee maltiness to it. Really good beer. Really good. Mm. So Black Sheep Ale, let me have a read on the bottle. Because you're going to find this quite interesting. Sent me a fantastic t-shirt. And you can see they'd be arranged there. I'll just show you that in a minute. But um, Right, here we go. This is Black Sheep Ale, and it accounts for 80% of their sales, by the way. Um, the culmination of five generations of brewing expertise, brewed at the Black Sheep Brewery in Masham, North Yorkshire, and nowhere else. Paul Thiexton. Now, the family, um, they've been brewing in, well, they say the five generations, because... Um, they actually, the family as a whole, <coughs> he's not now, he got his own brewery, this Paul Thixon, but they were all from the, the um, Thixons, the people who make Thixons Best Bitter and Thixons Old Peculiar, their, their famous drink there. But they've got their, old, they've got their own brewery now and it's, they, they use a special Yorkshire Square fermentation system. Um, it's on the website to take a look. I'll just show you that now, but I want to show you the beer range a second. There's the black sheep, golden sheep. This is a good one. I can't wait for this one. Monty Python's Holy Grail. And they got the G and the R scribbled out, so it's Monty Python's Holy Ale. Then you got your Yorkshire Square Ale. And there's the one I'm drinking at the moment, the Black Sheep Ale. Absolutely fantastic pint, this. Really, really nice. Really nice. Put my notes back because I've got a bit of reading. Um, now, if you have a look at their website, they do hampers. I, I'm always. I'm a big fan of um, bits and pieces, souvenirs, um, key rings, 
but they sell more or less a lot. They got hampers just so you know Christmas is around just a few months away. So I've looked on their internet side, you're gonna order a hamper with some beer in, um they got some marmalade and bits and pieces, take a look. Um mash tun marmalade, key rings, point glasses, aprons and this is just one of their t-shirts, they got a range of their t-shirts, but they sell t-shirts. They're quite nice, quite comfortable. Um, so thank you to Black Sheep for the beer range and the t-shirts. Um, their website, to take a look at their bits and pieces, is www.blacksheepbrewery.com. Also, what I'm trying to do in the future is... is it's going to take quite a while, to be honest, because I'm not really computer literate. but. I, want, I have opened my own website, it's www.therealaleguide.com and I plan to um, hopefully sell beer over the internet and sell, I want to be like a one stop shop for merchandise, for t-shirts, for key rings, so I plan on phoning all the breweries in the UK, maybe in, in America if I possibly can and around Europe, get all of the t-shirts and everything onto my site so you can scan through, you can go to your favourite brewery, right, I'll have some of that beer and I'll order a t-shirt. So one stop shop for all of your beer and all your merchandise. Um, I believe it will work, um, we'll give it a go, but um, thank you for your support. Oh, thank you for your support as well. With the, um, I want to know your top 10 beers of all time. Now, um, I've had a few people look... Um, putting their entries in on the, on the blog, on the website, www.therealaleguide.com and there's some very interesting entries on there, some which, um, to be honest, because I'm not from America, I haven't heard of, but I will be checking out, um, and some very good English ales, most notably the Samuel Smith's Oatmeal Stout, which I really want to try. We can't get it on the shelves in the UK, but it seems to be very popular in America, but I will order it online, they, are, they do make it in Yorkshire. Um, right, I'm going to rate this beer now. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, this is really good. I haven't mentioned it for a while, but let me rate it first. 8 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. For black sheep ales, black sheep ale, <laughs> black sheep breweries, black sheep ale. There you go. You can Twitter me at real ale today, or leave me an email at real ale guide at googlemail.com. Um, I'm also interested in your thoughts, your comments. They're good, they're bad. I'll take them all. Um, you mention it if I, if you like what I say. Fantastic. Leave a comment. <coughs> Pardon me. If you don't like what I say, and if you don't like my burps, leave a comment. I'll try and cut it out. Um, but I was onto something. Yes, meals. If you want to have this, this would probably go down really, really well with. Oh, say a Mexican or, or I'd even say an Indian curry. I really, I could fancy four or five of these with an Indian curry. Um, settle down nicely, bit of dessert, nice dessert beer after that, lovely. But thanks for watching The Real Ale Guide, there will be more reviews in the future, cheers.